Have you heard about Scroll and its potential in the Ethereum ecosystem? If not, you're about to learn why it's making waves in the crypto world. Scroll, an Ethereum virtual machine or EVM equivalent ZK rollup, started in early 2021 and is an exciting addition to the vibrant Ethereum ecosystem. Scroll utilizes KVM as its core component to prove the native EVM execution trace and leverages a decentralized proving network to solve efficiency problems on the prover side. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Scroll doesn't have its own token yet but with a whopping $80 million in funding from big-name venture capitalists like Polychain and Sequoia, it's very likely they might launch one in the future. They've already launched their mainnet and it's speculated that early users who interact with both the mainnet and testnet may become eligible for an airdrop if they launch their own token. For those new to the term, an airdrop in the crypto world is when a blockchain project distributes free tokens or coins to the crypto community, often as a reward for early adoption or as a means of marketing a new currency. If Scroll does decide to launch their own token, early users who have made regular transactions might find themselves on the receiving end of such an airdrop, as a thank you for their early support. But before you rush off to start interacting with Scroll, it's important to remember that there's no guarantee of an airdrop or token launch. It's all speculation at this point. However, early interactions with Scroll's mainnet and testnet could potentially increase your chances of benefiting from any future developments. So why not give it a shot? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into Scroll and discuss how you can start interacting with their mainnet and testnet. Now, let's walk through how to interact with Scroll's mainnet step by step. Firstly, you'll need to visit the Scroll mainnet page. Once there, add the Scroll network to your MetaMask. This is your first step into the world of Scroll and its potential airdrops. Next, you'll want to pay a visit to RhinoFi. Connect your Ethereum wallet here and sign two messages. Don't worry, there are no gas fees involved. Scroll recommends RhinoFi Bridge on their website's bridge list, so you know you're in safe hands. Now it's time to bridge your Ethereum USDT or USDC from the Ethereum mainnet to the Scroll mainnet. Currently, RhinoFi is running a campaign where you can bridge to Scroll for free. Isn't that a sweet deal? If you're new to the crypto world and don't have any crypto funds, don't fret. You can buy some Ethereum on Binance. Alternatively, you can directly deposit fiat to Binance and purchase Ethereum. Once you're set, why not try out the dApps that are already live on Scroll Mainnet? For instance, the Scroll name service could make you eligible for their potential airdrops. You can find all the dApps live on the Scroll ecosystem from their website. But wait, there's more. You can use Rhino.Fi to bridge funds over from Scroll Mainnet to Ethereum Mainnet. This counts as another transaction, which could increase your chances of qualifying for a potential airdrop. Plus, you can also bridge from Scroll to other networks like ZK Sync, Base, Polygons, KVM, Manta, Linea, or Optimism. This might make you eligible for multiple potential drops. Remember, early users who've interacted with the mainnet may get an airdrop if Scroll decides to launch their own token. However, it's important to note that this is purely speculative. There's no guarantee that Scroll will launch a token or conduct an airdrop. But hey, who doesn't like a little speculation in the world of crypto, right? And that's how you interact with Scroll's mainnet. Remember, regular transactions could increase your chances of potential airdrops. So there you have it. Interacting with Scroll's mainnet is as simple as that. Stay tuned for the next segment where we'll discuss how to interact with Scroll's testnet. Next, we'll guide you through how to interact with Scroll's testnet. The journey begins with a visit to the Scroll testnet page. This is where you'll find all the information you need to get started. The next step is to add both Layer 1 and Layer 2 testnets to your MetaMask. This is a crucial step as it allows you to engage with the Scroll testnet environment and perform transactions. Once you have added the testnets, your next destination is the Sepolia faucet. This is where you can get your hands on testnet tokens. These tokens are essential for performing transactions on the Scroll testnet, so be sure to secure some. With tokens in hand, you are now ready to visit the bridge section. Here, you can send your tokens from the Ethereum Sepolia to Scroll Sepolia, and vice versa. This is a key part of interacting with Scroll's testnet, as it allows you to experience the speed and efficiency of transactions on the Scroll network. But the journey doesn't end there. To fully explore the capabilities of Scroll's testnet, we also recommend trying it out on SyncSwap. This platform allows you to swap between different tokens on Scroll's testnet, providing yet another way to interact and familiarize yourself with the network. Now you may be wondering, why go through all this effort? The answer is simple, potential rewards. 
Early users who actively interact with Scroll's testnet may become eligible for airdrops if Scroll decides to launch its own token in the future. While this is purely speculative at this point, the potential rewards make engaging with Scroll's testnet an enticing prospect. However, it's important to note that there's no guarantee of an airdrop, and the decision to launch a token lies solely with Scroll. So, while it's an exciting possibility, it's always wise to temper expectations and approach this with an understanding of the speculative nature of potential airdrops. That's your guide to interacting with Scroll's testnet. Early interactions may increase your chances of potential airdrops. Whether you're exploring the capabilities of the testnet or hoping for a potential airdrop, interacting with Scroll's testnet offers a unique opportunity to become part of an innovative network within the vibrant Ethereum ecosystem. Now let's talk about the importance of verification and do a quick recap. In the world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, verification is a cornerstone of security. With Scroll, verification is made possible through the Gitcoin Passport. It's not just a ticket to enter the world of Scroll, but a safeguard against malicious activity. It distinguishes genuine wallets from Sybil wallets, thereby adding an extra layer of security. Creating a Gitcoin Passport and collecting stamps can mark your wallet as safe increasing your chances of being considered for potential airdrops, should they occur. Let's take a step back and revisit the journey we've embarked on. In the first half of our guide, we delved into the Scroll mainnet. We visited the mainnet page, added the Scroll network to MetaMask, and bridged our ETH, USDT or USDC from the Ethereum mainnet to the Scroll mainnet. We connected our wallets, signed messages, and explored dApps live on Scroll mainnet. And let's not forget, we increased our chances of qualifying for potential airdrops by bridging funds over from Scroll Mainnet to Ethereum Mainnet through Rhino.Fi. In the second half, we navigated the Scroll testnet. We visited the testnet page, added Layer 1 and Layer 2 testnets to MetaMask, and got our hands on testnet tokens from the Sepolia faucet. We sent tokens back and forth from Ethereum Sepolia to Scroll Sepolia and tried out the Scroll testnet on SyncSwap, potentially making us eligible for further speculative airdrops. Throughout this journey, it's important to remember that all this talk of airdrops and token launches is purely speculative. Scroll has not confirmed any plans to launch its own token or conduct an airdrop. However, by participating actively and regularly in transactions, we're increasing our chances of becoming eligible for potential airdrops should they happen. For those of you eager to discover more projects with potential token airdrops, feel free to check out our list of potential retroactive airdrops. It's a treasure trove of opportunities waiting to be unearthed in the DeFi space. Finally, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Telegram, and Facebook, and subscribe to our newsletter to receive updates on new airdrops. Staying connected and informed is key in this fast-paced world of blockchain technology. That's your guide to scroll and its potential in the Ethereum ecosystem. Keep exploring, keep interacting, and who knows, you might benefit from potential airdrops in the future.